armies here we are here we are witnessing this iconic moment ha huh? witnessing this absolutely ultra iconic moment where the leader the kim namjoon has released his album indigo i'm not able to okay okay fine i'm not calm i'm not i'm trying to be calm i'm sorry i tried i tried i cannot be calm anymore i cannot be calm anymore i tried at the beginning i tried at the beginning but i'm going to be all squeaky and excited and jumpy because my my forever ultimate bias dropped his album today congratulations to namjoon very very happy for him and uh, of course this is an archive the last archive of his 20s it's like a love letter to himself i'm guessing uh, and uh, he's just taking us we are privileged to be taken through this journey uh, by him uh, and uh, there are 10 tracks in this album i already told you uh, if you have not watched my hobi uh, mama performance that's on that i have shared the link on my community tab because i just could not like it kept getting blocked on youtube guys so i've already shared the link you can watch it there and i told you that i'm going to uh, listen to the entire album next week uh, in peace in peace and namjoon insisted that we listen to it in order which well i always do that whenever i'm doing an album listening i always start with the intro track uh, so we have 10 tracks but right now we have the title track which is called wild flower and the stars there's so many features in this album i'm very 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 excited to listen to the uh, songs so this has an artist called uh, eugene so this artist is called eugene and uh, uh, i don't know this artist let I, i'm going to be very honest i don't know this artist so if you know anything about uh, eugene please let me know in the comments and yeah i don't know why just with the entire look i saw the photographs and all it's just the entire look is just so soft and also a little bit i don't want to call it gloomy guys uh, because you know the album is called indigo so you might think that oh it's all you know blue feeling blue and stuff which it might be but i don't want to put a negative connotation to the thing like calling it gloomy and sad i don't want to call it that i feel i should call it more emotional and more raw and more personal this feels like that uh i'll understand more once i listen to the song wildflower and uh, in what context the song is called wildflower is he is he calling himself a wildflower or what is it i'm very very interested to know because it's namjoon or there's going to be so much breakdown of this song and lyrics and i don't know but in the first listen i don't want to do that uh what i will do is i just want to listen to the song first at one go if i want to pause i will but i i don't want to do that uh but maybe i'll do a second listen and then we can look into the lyrics and let's see how it goes i'm i'm not decided anything we'll just see how it goes guys so i don't know if you can see this let's begin i'm not ready okay i'm ready ooh fireworks hard doesn't sound like thunder Oh my god. Okay, so that's I'm 
빠진 마귀가 전부 진결이 나 하나 열까지 다 이지그치 끝한 가면은 언제 벗겨질까 Yeah me no hero me no villain 아무것도 아니나 후회되는 반복돼 기억들은 안 포켜 난 눈물을 판 속에 시선을 던져 하늘 왜뭘 원했었던 건지 제 기억이 안나 얻었다 믿었던 모든 행복은 교차에 I don't wanna play 너말 was a phone 그게 뭐가 될까 새벽에 hold 자락을 붙잡고 뭔가 토해 내가 기억 목소리 막힌 자들의 사회 난 여전히 침묵을 말해 이건 방패 빠스가 또 답해 모두 오해 편견들이 짜게 밤 같아 난 너의 행가래 내두 발이 여기 땅 위에 이름도 없는 꽃과 함께 다시 별에 가시고 수확해 발 밑으로 빠지고 목적 없는 목적 지도 슬픈 줄도 머리고 그림자와 저 신이 너 하루 아무것도 없었지 And who tell me like gotta be a someone 난 절대 그들처럼 될수 없으니 힘든 시작은 시 여태껏 날 지켜온 단 하나의 힘과 철 타는 불꽃에서 들꽃으로 손에 내서 영원으로 나 육확 야가 들은 하늘을 언젠가 나 되돌아가리 I need a minute. I I need a minute. Oh my god, Namjoon. If someone asked me why is he my bias and why I have never gotten wrecked, I think this is a good this this song should be a good reply. This song should be a good reply to that. I need a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank God this is the last video of the day that I'm recording. I kind of kept like the best for the last. I was like, no, I just want to end with. I do all my recordings for my other channels, and I want to. I want to keep this for last. I uh, I don't know what to say. Literally, every line should be broken down. Like this was this was not just emotional in terms of. Kind of witnessing what he's feeling inside, uh, which is so bittersweet, which is really bittersweet. This is a kind of bittersweet song, but it's also so emotional in terms of like the way the music builds up, the way it has been arranged, and uh, just the video, so many symbols and so symbolic. I just seeing, just them including armies everywhere in their videos just makes me so happy.
uh, and that scene where he's on the stage alone and he's just singing and the crowd, you can hear the crowd singing along. I was just, I lost it there. I was like gone, gone for the day, gone, completely gone. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna, I don't, like I told you now, I wanna listen to it again. This just feels like I don't wanna start crying again. This is, this is kinda heavy. It's kinda heavy. I have to first give a like. It's already trending right now. It's already trending, which is not surprising because the song is just phenomenal. I am sorry. I cannot express how beautiful this song was. And uh, Yojin, I don't know if it's called, uh, if she's called Yojin or Yojin. Uh, I'm just going to go with Yojin. That's the English pronunciation, Yojin. She just brought in so much. Like she came in and slapped me in the best possible way. Like in, in a good way. Like she slapped with those two lines. She just took the song to another level. Can we just, I want to I wanna talk about the lyrics later when we do the second, like when I listen to it for the second time. But right now, I want to talk about Dam June's uh, style in this song. The first verse, it starts off a little slow and I'm like, okay, he's kind of singing. This is going to be a, like a melody rap and he's like, this is a proper song. And then the second verse, you just see, and it, it's so fitting with the song because in the beginning, he's contemplating and he's starting his story. And it just builds up, builds up, builds up. So in the second verse, you, if you see the intensity of the video where he's with the crowd and I don't know what that thing was with the fireworks, that increases. And if you, there are so many, I think he switched his flow two times in this. He started and then the, he was doing the fast rap and just his flow switches were incredible. I loved his rap parts over there in the second verse. It was phenomenal, like literally a chef's kiss. What a beautiful song to pick uh, as the title track. Just it just filled me with joy and sadness at the same time. It just filled me with joy and sadness at the same time. And just, I mean, the, the, the reaction is proof of that. What, what should I say? You just saw me completely breaking down and losing my shit, man. So yeah, that's, that should be proof enough. That should be proof enough what kind of impact the song had on me on the first listen. Oh my God. So I just loved his, I don't know if he's chosen this kind of, if the song, if all the songs are of this theme, because I'm not expecting any song to be like a drill song. I don't think he's going to do a drill song in a album like Indigo, which is completely theme based and stuff like that. So this is his story. If there is a drill song, I'll be very surprised, but okay, I'll be happy also. Uh, let's see. Let me know what is, if you have listened to the album, I just want you uh, to tell me which is your favorite song from this and how did you find the overall album? Did your, were your expectations met? Were you underwhelmed? Were you overwhelmed? At least I'm overwhelmed with the title track. Like I was, I kind of knew, like I said before uh, the reaction that I don't want to call it like sad or gloomy, but more emotional. And this just hit me like this huge wave that I was not ready for. I mean, I thought I was ready for it, but I clearly wasn't. But otherwise I would have controlled my emotions because I mean, who wants to cry on screen, man? Who wants to cry on screen? But uh, I clearly could not control my emotions. So that's the impact that the song had. And I just congratulations, Namjoon. You deserve everything. Literally, I know. I mean, there would always be skeptics. There would always be skeptics. Like I have, I think there are people who literally hate this guy, like hate him. That's the word I want to use. But the amount of love that uh, all us armies have for him, I mean, that's beyond imaginable. Like that's cannot be even compared. Like I, my respect for him, I mean, he's my bias, obviously. I'm not just saying because he's my bias. If, even if he wasn't my bias in BTS. But just my respect for this guy has just, it just keeps increasing. And I know that he is a guy who is not without fault. He has done mistakes. It's, I'm, I'm quite aware of everything. I have seen the past videos and stuff like that. But when I see him now, then and now, you know, everybody changes. People grow and stuff like that. Like I'm not one saint sitting here. I've done so many mistakes in my 20s and my teenage years. And right now I feel that in my 30s, uh, I feel that I'm, I, I still 
you know there's this much more room for improvement i don't think that i'm i've grown up as a person or i'm whole as a person there's so much uh, still to discover about myself that i may probably don't know yet uh, and this is what i see with namjoon and that's why i have immense respect for him i have immense immense respect for the guy and the, the, the dude just inspires me i don't know why there have been times where i feel stuck and i'm like yeah namjoon wouldn't do that i mean he would get his ass out and you know just work work doubly hard and just you know find a solution to the problem i mean i don't know no other artist has inspired me like that uh in this first time and i have told this plenty of times with bts that bts when i see their journey when i see them uh the music is, is inspiring their journey is inspiring and they just inspire me to work hard so yeah i'm just going to i don't know i just feel so overwhelmed and but i want to listen to it again i'll pause at couple of places where i really found the lyrics to be very very impactful uh and yeah let's just let's just give it a second listen now it just starts off with the fireworks and it's amazing how you know there are clouds it's all clouded you can't see the fireworks you know there's a barrier because fireworks i'm rep- guessing is representing the glory and the fame and everything but there's a cloud looming over it kind of interesting like the complete the, the complete flip in the lyrics from the first couple of lines where you saying that okay uh when i was at my lowest like when you feel that you are at your lowest when your heart devours your dream and stuff like that that time i yearned for a beautiful fall and like then the uh, then the video also looks so peaceful and beautiful and end where i could applaud and smile so like just the, the flip in the lyrics what oh. and it's so difficult because like you complete and with the position that he is in and the group is in with they have immense fame and it's so easy to kind of lose yourself in all this fame and glory and we have seen people who just get a little bit of fame and they completely like lose their mind and they think that they are above everybody else and he is just praying that you know please let me be myself with admits all of this all the surroundings that you know he is he's around basically so oh every day and every night yeah with some pain a criminal mind Like, look at that that mournful crescent moon hung beyond the window he's looking at oh my god the way the words have been put and i feel that this is for the english translation i cannot even imagine what kind of wordplay this is so this is where i feel bad that i don't know the language because i cannot appreciate the lyrics fully like when it comes to and he's a rapper and the songwriter and i feel that okay i i'm not doing full justice to the songwriting in terms of what kind of word plays metaphors he has used what kind of double triple entendres are there in the song what kind of rhyme scheme he has used so all of these things like are beyond my scope because i don't know the language i can only appreciate the lyric for its meaning I told her she just came in and slapped me like, "Go away, come!" And I'm like, "What?" It's it's like that in the best possible way. Gonna stand up on this guy. I 
I love that he's been shown. I, it's literally not trekking, but he loves to trek, right? So he's going uphill. I like that. I just love these lines so much and you know it's I feel that they try their best to show their uh, show their authentic self but let's not forget they belong to an industry which is based upon perfection and I'll they have try to be as authentic i feel that they have tried to be as authentic as possible but there is still a part of them which obviously i understand because they are celebrities you can't you can never be your authentic self like you have to show your best image forward and you know you they're, they're contractually bound so obviously they can't say anything and you know chris martin also said this uh, if you have watched the Coldplay concert because I went to the cinema live stream uh, and when Jin was also performing. So he he also said that, you know, they might not have as much freedom as we do, but they're amazing humans. These are the exact words Chris used. So you know, you know that they are contractually bound. They, you know, they try and be as authentic as possible, but it's not possible because of the industry that they belong to. It is filled with restriction. I mean, let's be very real. That's it's a, it's a fact. The storm is here. See? And I like with how with the lyrics the video is also kind of complimenting the lyrics. I just love this flow switch. It's so good. I love it. Just so it was so smooth. This flow switch was really good. Memories of holding on to Dawn's edge and spitting things out. My god, just the the lines are so beautiful. Society is all for the loudest voice. Just look at this. And here I am still speaking silence. Like completely opposite direction. Yes. Which is that location? It's so beautiful. So just the lines. I love this. Don't tell me like you've got to be someone because I cannot be You can only be you. You cannot be anything else. Right? I love this because this is why he started and I, I where where did he say this huh in which in oh I think with Pharrell only he said no when I started out I started because I wanted to rap I wanted to write I wanted to rap his rhythm and poetry like he wanted to that was his that was his passion right and eventually I don't know where I think not as Pharrell, where somewhere he said, I don't know where, 
I think it's Pharrell only. And then he went on and, you know, meeting the president and he, he has this identity crisis. Obviously, he doesn't know who he is. Sometimes he probably is questioning himself because why he started out and what he's doing now. Yeah, everything has changed. And I like that he says that my one and only strength and dream that has protected me so far. Yes. Wow. Burning fireworks to flowerworks. Dude. Amazing. I think it's the love that he's feeling from armies because all the petals, purple petals are blowing. So beautiful. I lost it here. I was like, no, you can't do this to me. I'm already tearing up. No, 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 no. Exceptional. Sorry, exceptional. I have no words. Exceptional. I love it. I love it beyond beyond that I can comprehend in words, guys. So yeah, that was the reaction. I think I've said what I had to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And oh man, I can't wait to listen to this album. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Bye. You are the cause of my euphoria.